It's a lot of fun. I suppose it's my way of gifting. This mm. is I love creating it and I hope that everybody enjoys looking at it and watching it burn. My name is Aaron and I'm at Schoenburn and I built the effigy that we're going to burn today. My name is Antoinette, uh, most people call me Tony and I also helped to build the effigy um, which is called Vortex for Schoenburn 2023. Yeah, I had a lot of help from Tony especially and then all throughout the day people were very kind and always came to offer their help and their hands so I'm really really grateful for that um, building it is a slow slow process it's very simple uh, and repetitive so there's not apart from buying bigger tools and having a proper workbench there's not really a way to speed it up in this situation it's just cut the pieces screw them together and just keep building up the the layers so it, it does require some some focus just put your head down and and keep going really. <laughs> how did you find the the build um you know, like I'm, I'm not so experienced in building, so I think it's nice to also, you know, gain confidence in that process through, through these smaller projects. Um, and I think that you know, like as you said, it's repetitive. It's almost meditative, so it has a calming effect or a concentrating effect um, that you can really sort of get into a groove and a rhythm. Um, but then I can get a little bit uh, <laughs> frustrated when the rhythm is, is disrupted. So yeah, it's. I think it's it's like art is a, a beautiful therapeutic. I really appreciate that in a smaller regional event there is as much art as there is, and quite big art as well. Um, I think a lot of times that's something that regionals uh, struggle with. Some is. Uh, people kind of know how to dress themselves and come for a party, but I think it's really valuable that we invest the time and resources into building art for each other because For me personally, that's what I see the burner community as is an art community first and foremost and that comes out in so many ways, but one of those ways is physical art I'm grateful to to have guidance from you to to be able to explore this medium because it's one that I haven't done before and I'm also really grateful that you have like sort of taken up um, the mantle of creating art of going from like introducing you into the burner scene and not really sure if you'd like it or not and it's you know quite fringe to now it's it's me who's with you instead of you who's with me no <laughs> But it's, it's beautiful to see uh, you express your creativity in art and to see how strongly that impacts you as well. Participating in Schoenburn, I suppose um, I've never been here before, so I was looking forward to seeing a new place, meeting new people, um, generally being in the atmosphere of friendliness and gifting and everybody being in a really kind of positive mood you know and that's a great refreshing atmosphere to be in for a weekend you know it really can change your perspective for a long time afterwards yeah. um, it's a bit of a recharge I suppose yeah and, uh, and it's also I'm very grateful for the opportunity to build the, the sculpture and I really just want to build it again <laughs> but much <laughs> much much bigger <laughs> when I look at the effigy now I have anticipation of burning it but I <laughs> but I love looking at it uh, at night in the dark with the lights in it I see so many different shapes or figures and it, it has a whole 
life of its own just not being on fire and um, <laughs> so I actually love looking at it uh, just as a piece of just as a sculpture it feels very feminine in a way that um, like you can see it as even phallic but the curves of it give you a sense of femininity which is I think also a nice um, attribute to have in an effigy Last night I was just so happy to see it and it took a bit longer to build than we first planned <clears throat> but getting to sit and appreciate it and see it be a part of the night and the moment seeing people spin fire and the music um, yeah, it was just a really beautiful moment to see it exist for a while longer mm. <laughs> I think um, when I have built this one and the the uh, smaller prototypes, they don't exist for for very long. They get built and then they burn very quickly. So it's nice to appreciate this one for a bit longer. What do I get from from the burn? Um, I mean, I think the first thing is connection. Like the the thing that I always enjoy most in these events is that you can sit down with someone, maybe not even learn their name and have some of the deepest conversations that you've ever had in your life. And I was saying this morning, you know, like some people you know for years and you will never have a conversation like, like these. And part of that comes through the principles and that we come to this place and agree to interact in a certain way in terms of, you know, consent and inclusion. Um, and creativity, that these things are actively welcomed and encouraged, you get rid of some of those hesitancies that you have in normal life where you worry about, you know, how am I going to be perceived or am I going to be accepted? And here, like, and in all burns, I feel like the thing that it gives me or the thing that I notice is that it's the celebration of humanity, it's a celebration of authenticity in its purest form and that there's also a an ownership of your own experience like if you are uncomfortable with what someone else is doing you can remove yourself from that but they don't need to change their behavior to change your experience per se um, that is different if they're interacting with you personally but um, yeah I think it's it's a beautiful way to exist and I think every time you come to a burn you have the opportunity to figure out how to bring a little bit of that experience into your daily life. And I think that just makes life more um, fulfilling when you can feel, I think everyone wants to feel loved for who they really are and not who they feel like they're supposed to be. And I think that's why this is such a growing community. Yeah. As you were saying, the, the fire twirlers yesterday, that you felt like the movement of the people dancing also was reflected in the sculpture behind them. Yeah, so the name of the effigy is Vortex. And when I designed the effigy, I wanted to somehow spin fire or make the fire spin and do what I wanted and kind of control this chaotic thing in, in nature. Um, and a vortex is usually something that spins downwards from memory but this thing spins upwards to a point and I think a vortex just uh, describes what the fire does or what it looks like as it's raging and spinning. What we've all been through in the last couple of years has been quite uh, chaotic and and overwhelming for many people and so it sort of symbolizes for me uh, you know being pulled in the force of, of nature uh, in the force of um, something that you can't really control and sort of grieving and letting go of that as well as celebrating um, turning it into something else when I watch it burn I have felt 
a kind of awe and relief. And I think that's because the flames move so fast in the design that it's such an epic show for 10 minutes and then it falls in on itself and you feel relief yeah. like it was intense and then there's a kind of calm very quickly afterwards i think again like in this time that we've all been through we kind of need to release this intense emotion and then let it go and that um i think is a, a good visual symbolization for for what this is Thank you.